Last summer, it came to our attention that Chinese link companies were trying to acquire Forbes. They were going to use that uh, for their own propaganda purposes. I and a few other senators pressured the Secretary of Treasury and the Biden administration to block that deal. It fell apart. Now you have Russia aligned. Uh, companies trying to buy Forbes as well. We're going to put the exact same pressure on the Biden administration to stop this deal from going forward. We would never in a million years during the Cold War have allowed Pravda to get a foothold in America's media environment. And that was Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton with me yesterday on Sunday Morning Futures responding to the potential acquisition of Forbes Media by the Sun Group. This is a company with ties to the Russian government and Vladimir Putin. Michael, it's an interesting story, and I want to get all of your take on this, because this company, Forbes Media, first was in a deal with the Chinese government. Uh, the Chinese government was interested in obtaining access to Forbes, and initially they did a deal with a group uh, tied to the CCP, Magnum Opus. It had the backing of the Chinese government CIC entity, but that was stopped because of these senators. And now the Russians come in. Uh, this group, the Sun Group, uh, they want to have exclusive rights to purchase Forbes. Your thoughts on a foreigner owning media in America? It's very reasonable to think that this is a really the leading edge of the information information war. That's, that's really what's going on. It's all about intelligence and the legitimacy of the platform that you're receiving your information from. So if you can take a foreign power and basically interpret, have their news interpreted as something that is mainstream, like Forbes is very mainstream, yeah. that now gives people, yeah, okay, we'll accept that. And, and you don't know, take a look at it from the same prism of saying, well, maybe we're trying to be influenced by the foreign power. It's an information war that's going on right now. You know, Facebook, 3.85 billion users. The, the largest platform, the information yeah. is out there, and it's got to, you know, we have to know who is putting out their own spin on right. things. Right, well, and that's the issue with TikTok, right, Lee? I mean, you've done so much work on that, but you also have uh, the Chinese propaganda, Xinhua News, Global Times, they come out, they spew out whatever they want. They're raging on Twitter. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, Forbes Media has big-time reach, and they've understood how to penetrate a lot of the social media platforms. Uh, they have access to data. There's one question if a foreign uh, company, a foreign agent, was to acquire this asset, what are you going to do with all of that information? Uh, and then also... They've got uh, the number one market share among U.S. millennials and Generation Z. Oh, they, they've de they're definitely penetrating that younger generation. Yeah. Um, now, uh, also, what about credentialing? You, you now are sending your reporter to Capitol Hill or the White House press briefing room. You know, how many credentials on Capitol Hill were you are you going to be given this uh, Russian-connected new outlet? Um, so th there's a lot to be reviewed here. CFIUS is uh, a, 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 an ability for the federal government to be able to dig deeper. We also have the Foreign Agent Re uh, Registration Act. The Department of Justice has util utilized the Foreign Agent Registration Act in, in calling on media outlets uh, to, to register. Uh, but that's a product of these agencies taking initiative, whether it's you know, Treasury, whether it, it is... Uh, the Department of Justice and more. So there's a lot of questions here when an, a, an, an asset as big as Forbes Media yeah. with so much information could end up in the hands of a Russian-connected company. And this Sun Group and its partners have a 64-year history of trade with the former USSR, a long track record of supporting Putin and Russian defense industry, significant backgrounds in facilitating pro-Kremlin messages and propaganda. It's just amazing what's going on right now, Barry. Your thoughts? Yeah, I, I, I'm just shocked that we would even get this far down the path. I mean, yeah. the, people are... The, the whole skill of critical reading and critical thinking has sort of been muddied by all the information that gets thrown mm -hmm. at people, but how we would ever even consider allowing this yeah. to occur. Well, we'll see with those senators who, who stopped the Chinese from acquiring it. We'll see if they can do that effectively with the Russian group as well, mm -hmm. Russian-tied group. We're going to take a